Alrighty guys, what is going on? <clears throat> Linky here and welcome back to another episode of the Theta SMP server. In the previous episode, I showed you guys my new little base and I also went over a couple things with you. We went into the nether, we did a little group nether event, that was a lot of fun. As well as we did a little bit of work with Pyrus, we helped him get his nether portal and all that stuff set up and it was pretty fun. So today guys, we're going to be taking a little break from all the exciting stuff. We're going to be getting down to the nitty gritty kind of work stuff. Whereas we're going to be working on our house. Let me just turn that down a bit. We're going to be working on our base today. Now, I know that probably doesn't sound as exciting as like last episode, which was the nether event and all that stuff. But today is just going to be mainly a talking video, just going over a few things, getting a lot of stuff set up for the server. And I'm very excited for it. So, for it. So, I can't, I can't speak either. It is currently Friday. It is the day before New York is supposed to get hit by the giant snowstorm. So, we're kind of all prepping for that right now. So, a lot of my time hasn't really been put into making content. It's mainly been towards prepping. My whole family's been prepping for the snowstorm. So, I apologize if I can't get out a lot of content. If there's no content this weekend, it's because we, we're out of power. I can't upload videos. So, that's mainly what's happening. I apologize for um, any inconveniences later on in the weekend if you guys, like, can't get any videos or anything like that. <clears throat> I'll try my hardest to pre-record some content for you guys today so that you guys are all good for the weekend. So, with that being said, that all cleared up. Let's go ahead and use these dark oak planks to cook this. But, today, we're going to be doing a little bit of housework. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to begin work on a little farm. So, firstly, what we need to do is we need to get some um, some planks and then we need to get a stick. So, we're going to work on... A, this is going to be... Also, I probably should have mentioned this before. I lost my old base in between episodes. Like, I couldn't find it. So, what we're going to be doing instead is here on this little island, we're going to be building a... Um, a farm out in the water here. So we're going to expand the island this way and we're going to build a farm and on this part of the island we're going to build my base. It's going to be all around like I love the area we have here. There's dark oak forest all around us and to this side there's an ocean that we can just honestly do whatever we want with. So I think it's going to be really cool and I'm very excited for it. So what we're going to do first to prep for that is we're going to take some of this dirt. We're going to be we're going to begin building a little dirt platform over to the farm. So it's going to go like this. We're going to go four out like this like so and then we're gonna move it down to three for a little bit like this let's count how many is this one two three four one two three four so then it's gonna go to two like this so that's two more and that's gonna be our actually we're gonna expand this i think by one so we'll do that all right so that's gonna be the pathway so essentially what we're doing here is we're building a little bit of a farm so what I also need to do is, hang on, we're going to bring, no, let's just bring out the platform a bit. So, this is going to be a, probably not the most efficient farm in the world, but it's going to suit our needs for the time being. And the reason I chose to do it on the water is because we really don't have to aquamate it at all. We can just keep it on the water, make ourselves a hoe, and we should be good to work with that. So, we really only need a wood hoe. I doubt I'm going to be using it too much, so... We can just grab that. We're also going to grab the 19 seeds that we have on us. I'm going to go off into the woods and also grab some more seeds as well, but I just figured this would be a nice start. And we're just going to dig away at the dirt here. And this sh this hoe should last us the entire time, I hope. Let's see if we can make it last. Two more lines. Can we get it? Yes, we can. Perfect. So that's going to begin to acclimate, and we can expand this even more if we so choose. We can maybe bring it out one more if we really wanted to. I think I might do that here. Let's see. Can we... Can the hoe do all of this? Yes, it can. I think we should be able to do it. Three more. Okay, hoe's out, so we gotta replenish it a little bit. Let's head back over here, but this is the farm I'm gonna be setting up. We're gonna begin putting down these seeds as well. So, for now, it's going to be a basic wheat farm. Nothing too special with it. I'm gonna get some lighting around it in a second. That way, it can always be lit up and always be growing. But let's just make another hoe so we can finish off the plot of the land here. Alright, awesome. So... The idea, I came up with this idea mainly because I wanted something that wasn't directly on the island. So I thought to myself, this is probably the perfect spot. I can build a little alcove, we can do it here. This didn't seem to get planished. Okay, there it is. But it's a great spot to do it because it doesn't interrupt the main island and it's also really close. So if we wanted to make sort of like a back door to the house here, we could go out and access the garden from here. So now what we need to do is we need to make some lighting. As you can see, I have some diamond tools on me. Pyrus, in the previous episode, if you guys did not see, I don't know if it was on camera, he gifted me 16 diamonds, so I use those to make all my tools. I haven't made a sword yet, because I, I really haven't found it necessary to make a sword. But what we're going to do 
Now that we have that, we're going to head down here. So I've been mining a bit. So this is my little mine that I've been working on. Just gathering stone and all that stuff. We're going to grab some stone here. And I just want to see if we can find any coal. If we can get really lucky, it might be like right behind this wall. But we will see. Let's see. Are we going to get anything? I don't think so. Okay. Well, since it's not there, that was kind of just like me hoping. What we're going to do is we're going to make an axe. So I don't have a diamond axe yet. So there's never a better time. Let's see. Do we have? Yes, we do. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a diamond axe. And we're going to make some charcoal. Since coal I've been having, I'm going to be completely honest. I've had some issues acquiring coal on the server as of late. It seems like I'm able to find iron fine, even though I don't have any on me right now. I'm able to find all that stuff fine. I'm able to find these nice, cool little spots to build my base. But when it comes to getting charcoal or coal, it's kind of be becoming impossible. So we're just going to grab some trees here. It's probably the easiest way for us to get some coal. Now, if you guys are really old Minecraft players, like if you guys have been playing for maybe upwards of four years, you'll remember a time back in Minecraft beta and as well Minecraft alpha where coal wasn't... Um, what What's the word? It wasn't... It was very rare. It was very rare to acquire. You had to really go looking for it. If you didn't find it on your first night, you had to be in the dark the night. It was always a worry for people. Oh, look at this. I did not know this was here. Okay, this will be cool. Oh, there's coal right down there. But we can go and grab that. That's perfect. Where did... I saw it. I think I saw it down... Yes, there's coal right over there. So that's fine. So we really don't need these trees. I guess we can just use this for wood. But back then, there was no such thing as charcoal. So you couldn't make the coal for yourself you had to find it if you didn't find it on your first night playing in a new world or a new seed you really you were it was very scary back when minecraft was really scary before they had the hunger mode and all that stuff it was a difficult game at first you really had to work hard to get your resources to survive all that stuff nowadays people kind of make it out to be a bit more of an easy game but it used to be a very difficult game and in my opinion they should bring it back to what it was. Like, Minecraft has always been a game focused on the survival aspect of video games. It was a survive and thrive game, as Paul Source Jr. named his series. Um, it was just... The feeling you got from playing the game was a lot more... I want it... The word dark comes to my mind, but it really wasn't that dark. It was more of just... Nerve-wracking. It was a nerve-wracking experience playing it, and people nowadays, they play all these mini-games and mess around in the game and troll on servers and all that stuff. And they don't remember, like, Minecraft used to be a very difficult game. It was a hard game, I'm not gonna lie. Like, just, and th since the, it wasn't as big on YouTube as it is now, you couldn't just get on and look up a guide for the game or look up how to play it and expect to find a lot of stuff. Like, you really had to experiment with the game yourself. And back then, when Notch was even still developing the game, before it was Jeb and Dinner Bones, before they sold it to Mojang, all that, before they sold it to Microsoft, all that stuff, they really... It was... What Notch used to do was they would do a thing called Secret Fridays. So every Friday, there would be a small patch to Minecraft, and it would include a bunch of new things. I remember at one point, Redstone was in it, when Redstone was first introduced into the game. At one point, they did... Is that coal? No, that wasn't coal. At one point, they did, um, note blocks and pistons and all that stuff. A little, uh, fun fact, before pistons were added into Minecraft, they were actually a mod. So pistons were a mod. It was a mod for Minecraft that you could install to work with Redstone. Redstone came out before pistons. And people loved the mod so much. Like, it was so popular with most people that, like, really made their channels or really worked hard in the game with Redstone and, like, computer technology in the game that Mojang decided to add it in eventually. So pistons were added. And it was just cool. It was cool to see that the community kind of influenced the game and the game kind of influenced the community. And that's always been something that has been very true with Minecraft. And even with 1.9, it's still true. Like, 1.9 feels like a beta update to me. It feels like the kind of update they would have done back in the olden days of Minecraft when the beta was like the big thing and everyone was playing survival and every when the like different things were added like when the nether was added and it was just it was such an exciting time and you don't see that as much anymore but I feel like with 1.9 for as much hate as people give the why is this one block not going? I don't get it. I mean we could possibly we'll replace it for now but as much as hate as 1.9 does get from the PvP community, aka the community I'm part of, it's going to be a great update. Like, I'm very confident that it's going to be an awesome update, and it just for one side of the community, not just the, not the PvP side. So, I'm excited for it, 
And I think for a series like Theta, it's going to bring a lot of cool stuff to Theta. Elytra are wings that they're adding into the game. So you can now, it's a rare item you can get from dungeons or any of these things. And you can jump off like a really high point, like up on top of this hill here. And you can glide through the air. And it's so cool. It's like, I'm so excited for this update. It might kill PvP. Definitely might do that. But that might not necessarily, that might not necessarily be a very bad thing. I mean, the PvP community has been getting smaller and smaller over the past few years. So it's, I can see it happening. I think Minecraft needs to take a new direction if it's going to survive as a game. And I think it's where it's headed. I think PvP might, might end up taking a turn back to what survival was, where PvP is just a fun thing to do with your friends. So what I've done here is off camera, I've made some stone bricks. So what we're going to do, let's see, this is four. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it here and here. Is that the right distance? That's on this. Yes. Okay. So that's going to be the exit out right here. Actually, wait, hang on. We might need to do a three-way entry exit if we're going to make it match up with this. Let's lay out the house before we do anything. So, like that. And then what we'll do is bring this out. That's two, and it goes out. We're going to make this longer than that part of the house. We'll go this way. Like this. I kind of want it to... Like, I want it to work with... Like the land we have. So I want the house to kind of expand the whole way. We can cut it here, though. I think that's good. The main entrance is going to be over here. I think. Right there. And then we can bring this out this way. Okay, that looks good. Bring it over here. Like that. Nope. Break that. Good. Um, Actually, hang on. Where do we want to... I don't want the house to be too big. Whereas I'd have to manage it a lot, but... We can definitely do something like this. That's going to be the basic frame of the house. Okay, that's looking good. I like the size of it. I think that's going to be a decent house. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end off today's episode here. Off camera, I'm going to work on the house, get the walls built up a little bit. I got to go get my brother from the bus in a second, so I got to cut this episode short. Got to render this and get it uploaded for you guys. But we've done a bit. We've worked on our farm. We've set up the starting points of our house. We have found some coal and iron for the first time on the server, and we're really starting to get established. I'm excited. I'm going to probably go on a little mining excursion. I might record it, do like some kind of Q&A for the next episode. We might do that. If we do, follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to tweet about it, and I'll say use the hashtag blah, 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 and you can ask me questions. But yeah, as always... I've been Linky, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.